Hi, this video may surprise you by the number of plants eating animals present in nature. There are more than 600 species of carnivorous plants. Such plants compensate for the nutrition by hunting the animals, maybe insects, lizards, or spiders. Stay with us till the end to know more about 10 plants that eat animals and to check their mechanism for hunting. Before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay connected for future videos. Let's get started with our number 10, the corkscrew plants. Genlesia is also known as corkscrew plants native to Africa, Central and South America. They eat protozoans and microscopic insects that grow under the soil. They have long underground leaves which are pale and root-like and they help out to trap and digest insects. Number 9. Butterworts Butterworts are carnivorous flowering plants mostly found in Central and South America. Like other carnivorous plants, they have glandular leaves that help to trap and digest the insects. Butterworts can also digest pollen on their leaf surface. Number 8. Venus Flytrap the Venus flytrap is widely cultivated for sale. It is native to subtropical wetlands. It has a complete trapping structure with tiny hairs on the inner surface. Venus flytrap catches insects and arachnids. When any of the insects contact the leaves, the trap prepares itself to close. Number 7. Tropical Pitcher Plants These plants are also called Nepenthes or monkey cups, mostly found in Madagascar, Southeast Asia, Philippines, and Borneo mountain rainforest. Nepenthes carnivorous plant eats insects such as fleas, wasps, or even vertebrates such as rats and lizards. When the insect reaches the digestive zone of the plant, it begins to break down. This takes almost two months to complete the digestion. Through this process, the plants gain nitrogen and phosphorus to add their nutrient requirements for growth. Number 6. California Pitcher Plant It is a species of carnivorous plants also known as Darlingtonia californica. These plants are domestic in Northern California and Oregon. The plant attracts pests in its soil-shaped circle by presenting sugar honey on its long-leafed cuttings. Insects on the plant then land on the honey, which leads to the bottom of the cobra lily. The cobra lily is well suited to meet its nitrogen needs by carnivores, which helps to compensate for the nitrogen deficiency available in such habitats. Number 5. Stylidium These plants are also known as trigger plants. About 70% of its known species have been found in the southwest of Western Australia. Some of the trigger plants are armed with sticky hairs, which helps to capture their prey, such as insects. The capture is maybe a defensive technique against damage to flower parts. Number 4. Trifiophyllum These plants are found in tropical West and Central Africa. They have many growth stages in life. They have oval-shaped leaves, its flowers produce sticky and long leaves, which helps to capture the insects. Then they become a climbing vine armed with hooked leaves, sometimes achieve lengths over 100 feet. Until now, which plant's trapping mechanism makes you go wow? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like this video. Now let me take you to the top 3 picks. Are you ready? Number 3. Rorigula It can be found in the Western Cape province of South Africa. It is thin, upright, and timid branching. Rorigula does not digest insects. It captures them with sticky tentacles on leaves and sepals. Quite horrible. There is a bug called Pemeridia who stabs its captured insect and poop, which is rich in nutrients and the best fertilizer. Number 2. Portuguese Sundew Dorsophyllum is a genus of carnivorous plants native to Spain, Portugal, and Morocco. These plants grow in dry soil. Unlike our pigs, Portuguese Sundew has a sweet aroma to trap the insects. The insects stuck to the mucilage discharged by the glands on the leaves and died by suffocation. The nutrients released from the insects used to boost the poor nutrient soil. Number 1. Brachinia reducta This carnivorous plant is native to Venezuela, Brazil, and Colombia. Brachinia grows in low-nutrient soil. Its leaves are covered with loose and waxy scales, which are highly contemplative of ultraviolet light. These insects are attracted to ultraviolet light. Brochenia reducta is very rare in cultivation and a unique plant for carnivorous plant collections. 
So now, here's a question to you. If you have a pet like a rabbit or a parrot, would you ever try to put its head into the plant's mouth? No, no, don't do that, I'm just kidding. Uh, before moving on to the next video, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be an amazing part of our Inside 10 squad. See ya!